So you're going to love this. It's vectors in 2D shapes. 2D shape. I've got a parallelogram here, A, B, C, D. Now, this is vector U and moving in that direction. That's vector U. And this I'm going to call vector V. We can formalize that a little bit. The vector AB, AB with an arrow above it, equals vector U, AB, vector U, and from B to C, vector V. And so the sorts of questions we're going to be able to answer are express the following in terms of U and V. Our first one here, vector AC. Now what does vector AC look like? It's the arrow from there to there, from A to C. And we can create a linear combination of vectors to get from A to C, yeah, we can go the short way, or we can go along vector U and then along vector V. If I draw that over here, it looks like vector U plus vector V. Vector U plus vector V will equal this vector AC. That's my answer. Vector AC is equal to U plus V. Very straightforward. Now, what if we wanted to go the other way? From, vectors, from point C to point A, that vector right there. All right, to do that, we can go the short way or we can go through a linear combination of vectors. We can go from here to here. Now that's going along the vector V, but in reverse. So that's negative V. And then going from there to there and then going down U, but in reverse. So that's negative U. And that's our answer. CA equals negative U plus, sorry, minus vector V. Rather than sort of reasoning it out like I did there, I knew that AC was U plus V. So CA must be the reverse of that, which is going to be the negative of that. Multiply the whole thing by negative, you'll get negative U minus V. Now what about vector AD? All right, um, well, these two vectors are parallel. B and C and A and D are parallel, and they're in a parallelogram, and we know that parallelograms have uh, sides that are the same length. So if they're moving in the same direction and they have the same length, they are equal to each other. So vector AD is simply going to be vector V. And similarly, vector DC, would be the same as vector AB. That would also be U. Now, what about vector BD going from this point to this point? Okay, we can go the short way or through a linear combination. We can start here and go down this U one, which is a negative U. So we're moving down through there and then along here, which is in the positive direction of the V, so plus V. It might be neater to write that in the reverse and say that BD, vector BD, is equal to V minus U. Hopefully you're getting the hang of this. All right, let's add a complication. This point here, uh, now that point is point P, and it happens to be the midpoint between A and D, so those are equal length. Okay, so what about vector AP? How can we express that in terms of U and V? All right, getting from A to P, we're traveling along this vector here, which is vector V. We know that's V because that's V. And we're only going half of the way. So we're only going halfway along vector V, which is half vector V. Simple as that. Now, if we wanted to do vector PB, we're going from vector P to vector B like that. To get there, we go from here to here, which is moving halfway of vector V, but in the negative direction. So negative half V, and then up here, U. And that will be our answer. It would have been neater to write it the other way. Now you might be thinking, yeah, but how do you know which way to go? It doesn't really matter which way you go, you'll still be fine. So if I was trying to do vector PB an alternative way, so let's do it an alternative way over here, we're gonna go from P to D, which is half of vector V. We're gonna go from D to C, so we're gonna go from here to here and then here to here. D to C is vector U. And then we're gonna go 
all the way from C to B. So we're going to take the long way from P to B. And going from C to B is negative V. Half V minus V, half of V minus a full V is half is negative half of V plus U. So you can see that whether I went the short way or the long way, that vector is still going to be expressed in the same way regardless. Let's flip that around. You get the idea. And finally, another midpoint, Q, and I'm going to go vector Q, P. Okay, how do I get from Q to P? I can go the short way or I can go down here. So uh, I'm moving down the U vector. So negative a half U. And then from D to P is along the V vector, a half, but in the negative direction. So negative one half V. It would be neater to factorize this and write it as uh, negative one half vector u uh, plus v. If you expand that, you'll end up back where we started, but that's a little bit neater than that, I think. All right, that is vectors in 2D shapes.